Hey, sneaking out, smacking out, smacking out, smacking out, Junior House. Behave yourself, thank you. Tonight with Puppy Linux 8. Or Bionic Pup 64. Okay, so we're installed tonight. Yeah, we've done the, the full install on an old machine. Yeah, an old machine. Right. This machine is uh, the, the precious from 2008, this one. It's a mid range. And obviously, I've got the Silicon Lottery really good on this one. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. So, four cores, four threads, a Q6600, doing the business in Puppy Linux. Yeah, okay. In Puppy Linux. So, just don't get rid of them old CPUs just yet. And we're going to go through some things that I've done so far on this full install on this machine. And I've got three gigs of RAM. Yeah, not even that, it's about two and a half, isn't it, at the end of the day. But I've given it three gigs of swap, so that's fine. That should do it. This is just to prove to you, that even though the CPUs, motherboards, and RAM are quite old, the machines will still be quite usable. Okay, so very, not just quite, very usable. Unless you want to do 4K video or 1080p60, then you're going to have, to have a couple of cups of tea and stuff like that. So anyway, what have I done? So I got it out. I installed the stuff. It's working really, really well. In actual fact, it was a lot better than using it from the USB stick from the other night. To be really honest with you, okay. So I'm not going to do the usual blah 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 blah. blah. I've actually changed right to LibreOffice. I downloaded the F, sorry, SMS file, and it also mounts when I start. Okay, so I do lose a bit of RAM, but let's be honest. In today's world, if you haven't got a gig of RAM, uh, maybe that's just for robots. Okay, I mean I, I run Raspberry Pi zeros. They have five to twelve of megabytes of RAM. And we just do some for robots. We, use, we even use Rusty Pies for robots. And they've got a Giga RAM. So, you know, you can't really say. So, LibreOffice Writer, LibreOffice, does the business. As for Calc, I've changed GNumeric out for that one here. And obviously, it's going to go straight to LibreOffice Calc. So, all your stuff for office productivity is here for you. Okay. We're only using 40 to 48% of my CPU. We're recording at 30 frames a second, not 60. If it was 60, it'd be more around about 70%, and so I didn't want to really do that. That memory is working fine, so I'm not really worried about that. Okay. Okay. And the browse. I've changed the link again, of course. Yeah. This will, one will take a little while to load up. It's a separate file. This will be Google Chrome once you see it come out on the white. Right, right, I'm blinding myself. Thank you very much. Google Chrome, doing stuff. I've not logged in here just yet because I don't want to. Okay. Don't want to. I normally keep this as my backup machine, really. And I can see actually some of the stuff here was so much quicker than it was on my new machine. I thought, what's going on there? But sometimes old stuff works better with old stuff, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, of course you do. So, anyway, what else have we done? Okay, we've installed Conky, of course, so you can see all the stats here. That's fine by me. Yeah, that's fine, 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 fine. SDA1, it's not an SSD. It's a really, really, really old spinning disk. It's only a 5400, even. But it's doing the job really, really well. I'll show you in a second, anyway. So we'll go to desktop, and we're going to go to the JWN Desk Manager, and I'll show you some stuff here what I've done and what I'm going to do. Obviously you can change your background. Yeah. So there's our black dog, okay? You can change the dark. That's all the old one. Bloody 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 bloody. Pinky, purpley, sky, Vincent's. Yeah. That's a really old pup one. So we're gonna quit that one. You can change your GTK themes, your JWM themes, your Acon themes, okay? So at the moment I think we're in New Mix, okay? You can change whatever you want to, or get more themes if you really want to. So it's really configurable, as you may know. If you use Puppy before, you're going to say, Yes, Sneaky, we've heard all this before and we do it all the time. But say you've never used Puppy before, and you've got that old laptop lying around, or you've got an old desktop lying around, you know what I'm saying. Icon Manager. Okay, Auto Launch I've enabled, okay. When you first install the system, this is not enabled. So say you plug in a USB stick or a USB drive, We'll come up on a desk, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's what you want. Okay, cancel it. Uh, screen save. Uh, don't we need to talk about that, really, do we? No, not really. 
default apps we do there. Okay, so I'll go to multimedia. And it'll copy eventually. Remember, I'm recording at the same time. So we get a choice of audio editor. Okay, mm, MH Wave. I'll probably change that to Audacity. Audio Mixer. I've not installed another one yet, so you can change your default, okay? But I have changed the audio player to Clementine, because I prefer it. Dead Beef, I've gave it a try again, and it's not got any better, okay? For CD Recorder, I'm keeping it at P-Burn. Inkscape Light is okay for me. I don't really do too much, but say you did more drawing, you might want to go with the full Inkscape for that one. Image Editor is Empty Paint. We can change that if we want to, to Image which I've installed, and I'll show you how in a moment. And I'll show you, oh, and then paint again. We'll just give it to paint, okay? So we're going to apply that. Your default apps are applied. And we're going to apply that again. So if I go to paint, okay, let me quit that one. Will it open straight away, or do we have to actually restart? Get to paint. Let's wait. But da 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 ah. Gimp 2.10. I've not reloaded this. Just did it for you. Okay. Just did it for you. That's how quick Puppy is. So, if your processor is from 2007, yeah, it's now 2019. That will make it 12 years old. If you can afford four gigs of RAM into that little baby, that'd be fine, wouldn't it? Okay. You still do the majority of stuff. Don't expect to do 4K video or 1080p 60 very quickly. It will do it, but it will take a long, 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 long time. As you've seen down here, there's a, a Chrome icon in the panel. You can add stuff to the panel if you really want to. Yeah, add stuff to the panel. Works super fine. Anyway, a quick go through some of the stuff. I can switch my con key, but I'm going to keep it that so you can see what I'm doing at the same time. We've been to the desk manager. Compton, you can change. Redshift, I'm not going to bother doing that because you can do that yourself. Utilities, okay, here we go. I installed Open Drive. Now, I've not logged in, I've logged out again just so you can see it really more than anything else. But it does use 100 meg of RAM once you open it, okay? Well, that's what it seemed to. Down here, it's saying it's using quite a bit of CPU as well. Hmm, interesting. So if you've got a Google Drive, you can sync it and log in and do all your stuff from Puppy. No big deal. On a 12-year-old machine, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. No. We'll go up to menu again. Oh, excuse me, got a bit of a thing. As you know, I've got LibreOffice fully installed. We get that. I'll show you where you get that from. If we go to Quick Pet here, and we go to Office, if you click on LibreOffice here, it will download an SFS file, and it will load up for you every time you boot up basically you don't have to load it every time if you don't want to if you're limited on ram or disk space but if you're going to run this sort of system that's the sort of thing you're going to want really at the end of the day nice okay if i go down to what else we've got, uh, personal it's all the usual there we did this the other night i'm just going for it quick you with quickly with you on this fully installed system yeah an old one puppy phone still there still can't get the um Webcam to work, not really good. Transmission and UGET, multimedia, Spotify does work. Yeah, just I can't remember my password for that account at the moment. Unfortunately, OBS from the repos comes up with that. So at the moment, we just can't actually get around that. I'll work on it in a few days' time and see how we go. No big deal, is it really? Multimedia again. Uh, what else? Uh, Dead Beef, I didn't really like. Okay, it's changed from the last time I used it. But you may like it. It's entirely up to you. Clementine, on the other hand, I love. Okay. So what I've done, I've just installed a few tracks from my library that I keep on a USB 3 SSD. So we've got Ultra Life here from I Wonder. In my ears, it's playing really, really good. You can't hear it, but it's fine. The audio is fantastic. The loudness is really, really loud. So you don't really need to use this, okay? So that works for some fine too. I'll just close that. So I can use it again. Games, okay. If I go to fun, as you can see, I installed Warzone 2100. Just for when I get really bored. It's a really good game if I want to try it. Just installed it. 
takes hours to complete, hours and hours and days and days and months and months. It's fantastic. But you can get Steam if you want to, and it will run Steam games. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep this on this system, this Q600. I have actually got some more RAM for it. Okay, So we should be able to get up to six on this machine, hopefully. I'm just going to check out the motherboard number, just in case. Oh, before you were saying, oh, you're lying to me, Sticky. Okay, so if we go to, where we go, we're trying to find it now. Oh, by the way, the CPU frequency is getting to what I changed, so it's um, more aggressive. So the CPU works a bit harder, better for me. Hold info, that's what we want to see. So this is what we're using on, you can see. So we're using Puppy Linux on a Q600, 2500. It will go up to 2.8 on a boost if you're lucky. Silicon Lottery again. We're using a GTX 750 tyre. Don't give it really a 750 tyres, mate. They're still really, really good to use. Yeah, not. of course you do. Super. Anyway, so that's it all installed on this really old machine. So don't chuck them out. Okay, you can still use them. They're still usable. If I just go to, I tell you, I can chrome up for you. Just before we go. Uh, a bit of drinkage. Yeah. Mm. And it was very little. So if I type in new tube. And I go oh she took com what do you want to com for? Come on. Where you want to remind me later? Somewhere type for me. And this is one I done a few days ago. Okay, so we click on it. You actually can't hear the audio. I can, and it's very loud, so I've just turned that down. There we go. So now, because we are recording at the same time, I think things are struggling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that down to 720, and that should be cool. If you're not recording at the same time, it should be super. No big deal. There you go. Doing what it's got to do. Okay. But if you want to record and do 1080 60, what you're looking at, not going to work too good, okay? Especially as I'm running out of RAM. So if I change Windows, let's have a look. Oh, the CPU's just maxing out here, like maxing, maxing out. And I'm getting to the top of my memory, okay? So of course that's what's going to do. So can I make that smaller? No, I can only make it bigger. That's going to make it worse. Bear in mind that I have the NVIDIA drivers installed in the machine. Okay, nothing I forgot. Go back to Quick Pet and I'll show you what I mean. Go to Drivers. The four trip 10 drivers do actually work this time around for a change. Actually makes a difference. Super. Just to tell you that I've got them. If I go to where have I put it? Uh, that will go to Utility, wouldn't it? Well, no, I can't remember where I put it. Let me have a quick look. It'll be here in a minute. Here in a minute. We'll start from the top. System. Set up, it should be here really, really soon. I can't remember where it installed to. I'll just scroll down a bit further and see where we are. Bloody, bloody, blah. I'll throw it. Blah, blah, blah. It'll be there somewhere anyway. What if I click on there? Just in case. There we go. NVIDIA settings. We'll add that one. And you can see what we're doing. And there you go, it's the 410.93 drivers for this machine. <sighs> and we found that, eh? So yeah, if you want the Puppy Linux 8 to run on a machine this old, it'll be fine. As long as you don't want to record in 1080p. Okay. It may do for some games, but not other stuff. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>